Are you going there or no? Eh? Hector's not answering his, is he? No, uh, we're live. Live. Now. live. Let's see. We messaged. Yep. Yeah, I don't know where. Uh, I invited him to wait for just not on the app to accept. Echoing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's all good. <laughs> Hector. Hector. Echo. 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 <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's real about the echo. <laughs> yeah, he's cool. I, I, uh, I think. How far away from the whole collection like are you, like Blucher? Uh, no, he's, he's way, way further, further ahead of it than me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Man, Blucher, man, his, I would love to see his whole collection. I bet you his stuff is, you know, is epic. Yeah. He says he's like, you know, completes. He's a completist. Yeah, he is. <laughs> I'm the type of guy. Who's gonna buy. I remember that character, dude. That lion. I loved that thing growing up. Is that from uh, Ninja, Ninja Turtles? Turtles? Yeah. Cabo, just Cabo. He loves mm -hmm. all of Ninja Turtles. Yeah, he's on a '80s TMNT kick right now, isn't he? Yeah, he's big in all those Ninja, Ninja Turtles. See, this, this is, is what I'm big into. Those uh, Street Sharks. I love Street Sharks. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, they had so many. The, uh, the assortment that that garage show had of turtles in that bin. Yeah, I'm surprised you did not see if, if you could just buy the whole bin. You know, say, hey, how much would you would you sell me this whole bin for? You know? Yeah, he would, it would, I wouldn't be able to afford it right now. <laughs> That was all the pristine quality of those figures. Yeah, I don't really think they didn't have all the accessories, I don't think. You don't yeah. ever see turtles like that in a flea market setting that are not being charged adequately for what they are. Yeah. I've seen some really worn out, like, marks and pieces missing and just kids played with them, you know. Those look unplayed with. Now that thing's cool. Yeah. Is that visionary? Supernatural. Supernatural, yeah. Uh, okay. Unboxing art has one of them, the mummy looking one. Yeah. I've got two now. Mm -hmm. Childhood. I probably, probably have almost all the predators. predators. Yeah, the more and more I see of those, uh, Predators, I really want to start getting into those, I think. The Kenner ones? Yeah, the Kenner. Yeah, they look really, really cool. They were fun, dude. I remember when they dropped. Me and my brother got as many of them as we could. We loved them. Like I said, I, I really um, think I want to get into the the Dune series of... Uh, the Dune series of... Uh, Toys and then also Mad Max. I think those are the next, you know, waves of things that I'm going to probably end up picking up. Oh, yeah. You know? That's crazy looking. Yeah, what's that? Is actually a demon in Who's that in your right hand? This guy? Yeah. He's a demon villain. Uh, in 89, MOU came out with New Adventures. Uh huh. He's a New Adventures villain. So that's why he doesn't look like. Uh, they don't have Skeletor. Well, they do have Skeletor, but they don't have most of the other characters. I okay. remember that uh, when they tried to bring it back, my brother and I had a few of those. We hated them. Yeah, yeah they were not good. good. He made us They were really weird looking. Pirates of Dark Water. Yes, that was a great cartoon. I had the whole series on DVD, bootleg. <laughs> bootleg. This is one I've been wanting for a while. I want to get it loaded, though. Dude, what'd yeah, you think of? It's G.I. Joe, right? 
Yeah. yeah. Did you see how many 12 inch Joes he saw at that yard sale and that other? Yeah, that, was cool. that, that was an epic <laughs> yard sale. That's your buddy, though, right? That had the uh, thrift shop. Yeah. Door. Yeah, he's a he seems like he's an epic collector. You should do like a, a see if you can do a collect a, a review of like his, you know do an interview with him sometime about what he likes as a collector. Yeah. yeah. This is just stuff I got in the last few days. It's already like loaded. Wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's like. I was telling y'all, I picked up uh, He Man and Battle Cat for 40 bucks, which isn't bad. I saw that, man. That was nice. Yeah, and then I also found that. Yeah. I found that at, uh, at Thrift at Goodwill the other day, I found a TARDIS. It's like a USB, four port USB. It's pretty cool. I got it for that and a lunchbox for six bucks. So every so often you still find a good deal like Goodwill. Oh, well, did we lose Kevin? Did we? Yeah, it looks like we did. Hello. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's back. I'm back. Back again. I, my phone was being too echoey. <laughs> this is not as clear, but it's not echoey either. That's fine. Yeah. Hear, hear you a little bit better, for sure. And plus, now I can see the stream. <laughs> is there people on your channel watching us? There's eight total. Howdy, everybody. What's up, everybody? Nice to meet you Uh Toy Don, Life Anime Gaming. What's up, guys? Tech team. Three of the average guys. Toy <laughs> Don. Three amigos, right, Kevin Cito? That's right, the three amigos. And we need Elite Langen to get on here, but I don't know if he... He's a hangout snoop. He's, he's in the stream. He's like, what's hangout? I don't think he knows how to use it yet. <laughs> <laughs> or, What's up, Jacob? He's not very tech savvy. We'll we'll bring him along with us. <laughs> yeah, he'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> I think he needs to change Uncle his Jay. channel name too because there's too many elite legends on YouTube. You're you're new here, sir, but I've seen you around. You've been around a while, right? The Mister Venegas. I've seen <laughs> that name around. So hey, Sandman. I, again, I wanted to really thank you for doing the uh, Stanley Challenge, man. That really oh, it was a pleasure, dude. Thank you for yeah. That made thank my thank you for convincing me that it was uh, worthwhile uh, accepting that challenge. Yeah, I can't wait to see a lot more people do it. I mean, it's a really good cause, you know. Uh, and when I first saw you propose it, I didn't know how to react because. I have so many nieces and nephews and then my own children to buy for. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I don't even have, <clears throat> I can't even buy my wife a gift, let alone, you know. I yeah, I know, times are tough. That's myself, for sure. And I didn't think about what the cause was. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it all that karma, you know, you give, 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 and it always comes back to you. So that's a good thing. It's true. Yeah. Oh. All right. I'm going to try to get Hector in here. You oh. saw how affordable those X-Men figures were, right? Oh, yeah. Exactly. That's what you I'm know, saying. Car, that yeah. Bucks, minus that was, 20%. Yeah. That was great. That's why oh, yeah. I chose to use a local business rather than a chain retailer. Yeah. Well, I mean, like I said, like I, like you said, I hope you know pe these kids get those, and they kind of like opens their, um, you know, mind and world. Yeah, to I mean, you know, for real, let them, 
it's just a massive uh what's the word Al- alice in wonderland rabbit hole yeah <laughs> yeah well if you if you get if you get into collecting you won't do drugs that's for sure can't afford it <laughs> can't afford it nope <laughs> all right i sent another invite to hector let's see if you go on <laughs> Oh, maybe he's here. Yeah, he, he, is. he did it. There he is. I'm a little late to the to the party. Elite legend. Make his Mr. V. Okay, Mr. V. You guys like the face paint today? Thanks for showing up and hanging out with us. Yeah, tag team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what, the, what this is about. Yeah. All, all of us hanging out, yeah. chill, talking, like, liking what we like, you know? Yes. I have a video uploading right now. You do? That's great. What's this one for? Um, a custom that I did for... Right behind you. Oh, good. Uh, oh, for... fail. What do you do? <laughs> Drop his phone? No, I dropped my custom. And then I... Oh, oh snap. The master Back to the drawing board. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, uh, we were talking. You really need to add something to your channel name to make you easier to find. I know yeah, there's, there's a bunch of elite legends. Well, if you make yours there. elite fig legend, F I G in the center. Okay. And then use the abbreviations E F L. Yeah, E F L and the easy. The E F L people will mistype N F L and find. You. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Name yourself yeah. Pixel that Dan works. Legend. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you call yourself Doo Dog if you don't? Elite Charnamus <laughs> Legend. Yeah. yeah. Or that little kid that's like a kindergartner that makes millions. Glenn Webb Legend. Oh, yeah. Glenn Webb, he's still 100K. So. Oh, South Markiplier Play Channel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't want to get into them streamers. <laughs> he said you don't want to get into them streamers. <laughs> <laughs> you talking 20, 30 plus million? No, okay. did y'all hear about that um, thing that's going over, on over in Europe about our Article 13? Mm-mm. No. Mm-hmm. Basically, Article 13 is they're saying that um, over in Britain, they're getting ready to make it where. Uh, you know, uh, like uh, fair fair use doesn't exist anymore over there. Uh, it, it weakens, uh, yeah, it weakens the uh, yeah. So basically, if uh, they pass the law that YouTube and Facebook and everything else will uh, basically not allow you to use anything besides your original content. Wow. No copyright stuff. No nothing. You'll have to just basically, you know, how we play music in the background. You know all that. Or use, you know, even the figures, yeah, they can yeah. they can get you on copyright strikes yeah, for showing somebody else's product. Bring back communism. Yeah, so they're saying that uh, Facebook, I mean, YouTube is saying that if this passes in Europe, that they they won't even you know allow creators to be on the channel anymore. But basically, what they'll do is have like CBS, the bigger companies. Mm-hmm. That's it, because they can't they can't because uh, they will be. Instead of the creators being, you know, uh, uh, they'll never pass. responsible for yeah, responsible for the uh, for the copyright. It'll be YouTube that's responsible. So mm. they would they would get you know get fined for having a copyrighted stuff on their cha- on their platform. Yeah, okay. uh, they'll never pass. Yeah, well, I mean, it's already passed three times, and they only have to confirm it over there now. Oh. So, so it could be a thing. I don't know. It's Bunch it, of maybe. wankers. And they're also <laughs> to ban, uh, what are they trying to ban forks? Yeah. Forks are being banned in England out there, too. So. Yeah. I think they, uh, it'll turn out all right. They've been saying that a lot. You know, there's, there's just all this, you know, everybody's saying YouTube is going down type, you know, thing. But yeah. I, don't, I mean, we'll see, you know, I mean, uh, who was it? I was watching it. The way I found out about it was I was watching uh, <laughs> Iris, 
and he was talking about it. Yeah. Tag team. We are on Hangouts on Kevin's channel. Thanks, guys. Hey, you know, I hit a, a hundred bucks today on YouTube. That's hey. good. It only took a year and a half. Nice. You got a hundred dollars in ad revenue? Yeah. It Dude. only took twenty thousand dollars in toys. That's one of the things Dude, that I've always wondered about. Nobody ever answers how much they generate in ad revenue. A, Man, it, and it all depends on subs and likes and views. So yeah, it's, it's also, it's everybody. The ads that you allow on your channel too. Oh. And they tell you, you got to hit at least uh, forty thousand views consistently to oh. be also to be monetized. Yeah. Ads that your channel promotes. Yeah, and so mine stays at a hundred thousand. Like the ones that are not skippable. There's various. Yeah, exactly. It's it's variable. <clears throat> That's that's a serious amount of cash. Congratulations, Kevin. It's not bad. Yeah, Thanks. like I said, goes right back to the collection. <laughs> Bravo. Yeah. yeah, I noticed like my videos that go they hit a thousand, I'll make like five bucks off of them. <laughs> thousand views is the equivalent of five dollars. Just about yeah, four eighty, four six. That's nuts, bro. Well, that's why I mean, you gotta have like to make money, you need a couple hundred thousand subscribers and up. Another year, man, and keep on building. Maybe you won't even have to work anymore, to be honest. I mean, that's what happened with Jack and uh, Mark and all them. They just stopped working. You and have started to hit 100,000. Yeah, you got to get up there. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, David Patrick. Which I'm not saying Kevin doesn't have the stuff to do that because he does. Well, I mean, in a year, just a million shot, and you can get it. I mean, how long have I mean, I've been on for about eight months. Ramona, can you plug in my thing? And uh, I mean, you're you're growing le leaps and bounds. I mean, your content has the potential to get you there eventually. I need. I would like have to take it serious. Like I'd have to step up my uh, like hard my equipment and like me and Sam, uh, Harry were talking about before camera sound. I need to get a little more quality going on my channel, and uh, I think like this is the way to go. Like the live stuff. Your editing is so dope. With what Cheeto fingers, what up, buddy? Yeah, Good. I appreciate it. I enjoy doing if it. I I've been goofing off. If I would update my equipment. I'd have to get a new wife. <laughs> She's my editing and my I wife directing. <laughs> <laughs> she does it all. You She's just gonna bring her back operation. to the Verizon store and trade her in for an upgrade. Go hey, get up the uh, there's other <laughs> way to, you know, bring a, bring along like like I was telling you the other day. I wouldn't mind buying a t tattoo toy hunter T-shirt. That's oh, the other way dude. of going about it. Your shirts, money. dude, would sell. Your yeah, shirts. I wouldn't want to make it to where all of us could wear it. You know, I don't want to just tag team them. shirts would be sick too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, what, uh, Sandman, whose shirt were you wearing the other day? Uh, I got my first toy hunting shirt. That I put sugar on was Doo Dogs. Yeah, Doo Dog. Yeah, so see, I mean, he was repping Doo Dogs channel, you know. Yeah, so it's cool. You know. Do y'all remember those uh, Osmosis Joan toys? I've seen someone David yeah. comment. I don't remember them. I don't I mean, either, but I, I remember them bringing them up now. The toy, the movie was pretty good. What's up, Craig? We got Mr. Craig in the house. Craig from Not Another Retro Channel? Yeah, Texas. Whoa, what's up, Craig? What's up, sir? How you doing, sir? Are you back hey, in Texas? tell him uh, Louisville. Say Louisville. 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 Okay. <laughs> Not Louisville. 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 <laughs> he said a lot of people in Kentucky is giving him a hard time pronouncing it. Uh, I'm sure. We have our own kind of accent that we don't Dude, know. Dude, how about that Kentucky. place that he found in uh, Louisville, huh? that mall? Oh, man. I think I would want to retire inside that building. That place is crazy how many toys are in there. Yeah, I, I couldn't go in there. with. I would go broke or piss off my wife, something. You would go in there with a ski mask and a yeah. cloak. <laughs> Fill the bag up oh, and no one gets Texas man steals whole store. Who's <laughs> at 11? <laughs> You know oh, where? Yeah. Be careful with that. How you shove it in the sack. <laughs> yeah. Luker's in the heezy. Luker, what's up, David? Oh, really? Well, we would have loved to have him on Hangouts. 
No kidding. Great We're going to get him on there eventually. Great Brad Campbell, Campbell, what are you doing, buddy? Uh, oh, Brad Campbell's in the house. Yeah, Brad, Judson, David. We are the average guys. We are Kevin's minions. <laughs> I get to be a minion because my name is Kevin. <laughs> Yeah. Is it charging yeah. still? <laughs> my wife said to see well, Barbara. Show what you found today, Kibble. Uh, my, it's gonna be blurry because I switched over back to the laptop. But still. So what happened was this? Yeah, this big monster. What do you call him? Creech. The Creech. Yeah, it's a really cool figure. Dang, yeah, he's. The I mean, detail. What you came for? How much did you get him for? Uh, I think eight bucks. Dude, that's a distance. What is the deal? Yeah, and I got him for eight bucks. Yeah, he did a really good job on that. For real. You know how many shops would try and scalp on that and charge like 30 bucks for it, 40 bucks? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think this guy especially more. But he has like, I'm missing the hoses that go to his hands that makes him look really cool. But he's still nice looking. He's he's incredible. How heavy is it? He, he's heavy, man. He yeah, he's a lot of weight. He's considered a build a figure nowadays, I would think. Yeah, he's, quality. He's yeah. 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 This small soldiers. This is a lady. This is a ninety-eight. This is a insano. Yeah, that's great too. That's uh, Bluker's uh, thing right there. He yeah, I'm sure he has him. A few predators, a couple predators here. I've got a ton of them though, and I probably have like all doubles at least. <laughs> I definitely want to get into those. I know Kev, Kevin, my friend Kevo, is yeah. got all of them almost, and I really want to. I get know into you those. already have that horn one, Kev. You already have that horn one. Yeah, I got him. I think I have both of these. You probably have three of those already. I like that though. I don't mind having a bunch. Yeah, Army Bill. Because that way you can pick and choose which one's the cleanest. What's up, Mr. Caesar Diaz? How you doing, sir? Caesar Diaz from OBM. Yeah, he's the man. The Don there. The... What's up, man? Yeah, up, yeah. This man? Lionheart is one of uh, one of the rarer ones that I've been looking for for. Yeah, I love that toy growing forever. Up he's hard to find. Love yeah, there's so one. many of the Ninja Turtles, man. You could you could probably just do a whole channel with Victor. the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Hector, were you allowed to have turtles as a boy or just WWF? Oh no, I was I was allowed to have um it was always a either or thing though. So once I got to enough of WWF figures, I needed to Man, you started to mitigate like I, stocks and bonds mitigate your investment portfolio. Exactly. So once I had enough for a roll, <laughs> then I would be able to get other things. So well, judging by what's behind you, and I think you turned out fine. <laughs> yeah, he's got me on a kick. I want to hit some more. <laughs> Legend, man. It looks like you've been, you got almost, uh, you know, tons and tons he of them. Looks like, that's like the Hall of Archives of Hasbro. Yeah. <laughs> I got to set up my um, WWE stuff. It's upstairs. Oh, that'd be dope. That uh, one video was your WWE to, to, with the, the oh, ring the and the Oh, the retro one? Well, I love that episode. That was bigger than this. Yeah. Uh, probably twice as big. Mm -hmm. like I said, I like the, yeah, I like to see uh, a uh, attitude era one. Don't you have two Jangos? No, nah, this is my. I may have Boba. Black series. Yeah, this is a black. This is one of the older black series too. I think he's been around a little while. Before the face scan. Yeah. Well, how can he still looks pretty good, but the oh, face, he has a face. Like, give it to me. <laughs> yeah. I actually paid a lot on him. Well, for me, I think it's a lot. It was twenty. You gave twenty for that loose jam. Yeah, I got caught up in a bit auction bid, and I the pride wouldn't let me get get out of it. <laughs> was he complete? Oh yeah, he's complete. That's a great deal, dude. I think, yeah, I think he's worth it, but I usually want to get something. I'm off $30 bigger than me, though. This guy, I got it for 15 recently. That's what he should cost. He should be a $20 Black Series. 
Yeah, I don't know why he's thirty. He's like he doesn't have any art, real art. If he had came with one of those hounds from the movie, oh yeah, he was. That would be cool that he came with that. Then it would have been a thirty dollar figure. Oh, they got rid of Caesars. <laughs> yeah, fifteen bucks Caesar. They they had a cartwheel forty percent off at Target, and he was all of the Star Wars were forty percent off at that day. Yeah, I haven't seen any of those sales at my store at all. I so I'm wondering if it's a you know a local <laughs> thing. Texas, man. There's a, you're not in Chicago. They don't stock Ooh, everything out there. They don't have any specials. Well, that cartwheel thing was based off the internet, off the, the app. So that thing's cool. Yeah, this uh, these all look cool. Look at the action. It has. That's the bull alien, right? Yeah, and it, it charges like it's huge, man. Is that the NECA? No, this is Kenner. Just the. It's huge. I thought it was a NECA. It it is a good size. It really is. Man, those toys were amazing growing up. The aliens by Kenner, dude. Oh yeah, and then I, they have the two queen. packs that are alien and. I had the queen with the hive, and the hive actually had the sliming effect. Yeah. Loved it. Yeah. Does NECA have that? A queen with a hive? I, NECA did put out a queen, I think. They did a queen, but I don't think they made her hive, though. No, probably not. You seen that NECA did the uh, the video game uh, human characters for from you know the old video game? for The side-scroller aliens. aliens from the arcade? Yeah. Those, those, those look really good. That that was a fun game. Oh, yeah. yeah they, super hard. Yeah, they actually... They actually like their look like their uh, oh, sweet, front uh, the game itself. Eight bit is what they look like. Just the way yeah. they made them. Those are the fun old games. Those games are amazing. Was that some mask? Yeah, mask. I can't think of the name of that truck, but that's uh, dope. Either the yes. truck or the character. One of them is named Venom. I can't remember anymore. I don't know if you y'all watched Cincy Nerd, but he's gotten into mask big time. Yeah. We were me and uh, Harry were talking about that he got he that got uh, older older mountain. Mountain. Yeah. Yeah. He he Who landed some it was an expensive uh haul there. Who would he pay for all that? MA. MA. Well, you know, he ha he has the money, so I guess he you know, yeah. Yeah, but since he flips a lot of stuff too. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you'll decide, you know, to knock off like a certain wave and just stick to certain particular. Well, he was saying that he got tired of do- being in the hot in the legend and hot toy game, so he just started to start doing uh, uh, vintage stuff. You know, said he he felt like you know it's something that he chasing his inner yeah. child is what he said. Yeah, I would never get into the hot toy game. Even I, I can't afford it. So, <laughs> and um, so far, I haven't seen anything that really, you know, grabbed me. Yeah, you know? I'm the same way. I don't they look incredible. They, they, look, they look amazing for what they are. I just don't want to collect anything that big. They look too they much. Look when I was a kid, my toys didn't even move. I had the LJNs. They were rubber. Yeah. Uh, I use my imagination. Uh, I don't yep. need all the articulation. That's true. I see. Uh, Bottles and boxes. Video today, when you were digging in that bin, there was like a twelve-inch solid gold Wolverine. That's right. That's right. I had that and Sabretooth that were gold. Oh, the bigger, yeah, the what? bigger characters. Oh my God, those were so. <laughs> they scuff so easily because that gold paint. Yeah, that's the same way the Silverhawks are. They have that metallic paint, and that metallic scratch is easy. So it's yeah. easy for them to look ugly, like nowadays. You gotta collect what you love. Tech yeah, vintage and modern. Some some of them mix really well together too. Yeah, some but look at what you're saying. What's your saying in the live chat, Camisito? <laughs> How's that? What's people saying in the live chat? Oh, I was ta- uh, Caesar was just talking about how you have to kind of collect what you love, and he he loves vintage and uh, modern stuff. He has like a love for certain of each. And we got uh, I mean, I, Mr. Uh, uh, Hulk and the Heezy. Yeah. The same thing with me. I go to like. I'm joining the live chat right now. Hulk smash. Uber Hulk says Hulk smash. What's up, Hulk? You got a mix, huh? Yeah, I like both. I mean, I, I, if it catches my eye, I'm not a completist. 
if it catches my eye, I'll I'll grab it. You know, if I like mm. with if I if I you know like a certain character. I mean, I'm you kind of got me into the Marvel Legends. You you dragged me down that hole. I'm the same way as you, man. It's just what I see. If I see it and I like it, uh, I'll pick it up. It's I'm not Let's... like. The... The completion. I've never been a big Transformer guy, and I saw those robots, those blo- those knockoffs mm-hmm. that Kevin Kevin Cole showed, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to go check those out, and I bought two. You know, I've never bought a Transformer in my life. The only thing, the only Transformer I have is my is the one that I got from my childhood right there, and that's a little little tank. <laughs> that's that's the only Transformers I have. Yeah. So if it grab, grabs my uh, eye, that's what I what I grab what I go grab gravitate to, you know. Oh yeah, for sure. for sure. Uber, do you want to get on? That'd be fun. He, uh, me and him, and li- when we talk when he has live streams, it's it gets pretty funny sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Brad he's Campbell telling says, me about. Brad he's Campbell telling me about a story about the, around the uh, Super Seven. Yeah. I just sold my He-Man. Did you oh, get did I find you a buyer? I That's got, great. I got a He-Man. I got I got a buyer for He-Man, but that guy was crazy. I'm still wor- I'm still wondering if he's gonna request a refund. Um, he wanted pictures from all fucking angles. He wanted. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't tell me to go stand on the roof of sunlight. <laughs> stand on, <laughs> on the roof of the sunlight. Oh my the God. <laughs> By the way, Elite, great great shirt, man. I love it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you know me in the oh, hall. Yeah. <laughs> so I still have Skeletor and Ram Man. Brad Campbell, holler at your boy, Elite Legend. Mm, Elite Store, good pickup. Legend. It's going to be his channel name soon. Good pickup. <laughs> you know what I saw? Oh, I, I showed it in the video. These, these two people picked up some vintage. I think it may have been 80 uh, foot tall pe- uh, Darth Vader Pez dispenser still in the uh, <laughs> clam package. Oh, sure. Yeah. That's I thought cool. it was cool because it was so old. Black Belt Boba Vintage in the thrift store last week. Semi good condition. Well, it's like me and that uh, Darth Vader bank I found. I mean, so this, sometimes when you're at a flea market, you can run across things because people are, are wanting to leave, and you yeah. get it for cheap. Yeah, like when you found that uh, Metal Gear Risk. Yeah. And it was complete. Yeah. That's a find right there. Well, at the dark with the Darth Vader bank, I was go. I was walking through the flea market, and this guy was packing up, and I saw it on the table. It was in the box, and it actually. What had been never been opened, yeah. and he I said, "How how uh, how much you want for it?" He goes, "Well, how much you want to offer me?" I go, five dollars." He said, "Okay." <laughs> and I, the whole day I was walking around with it in my hand. Everybody, every, every other vendor was like, "How much you want for? How much we want for that? How much you want for that?" I said, like, "Nothing. I'm going home." <laughs> Hector, somebody's wanting you to hold up Whirlwind. <laughs> oh, Whirlwind. Yeah, a little close up on him. Here's uh, that's your. That's the custom. Cool. The video will be up. Um, it's um, uploading now, so it'll be nice. up shortly. This is a very nice word. Just yeah, a simple. Uh, it has this up on his channel. He's one of seventeen different elite legends, but his has got a wrestling mask. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not going to any type of department tonight, but I'm curious. Would anybody be interested in like a live flea market? video <laughs> but like oh, live nuts, instead of bro. you know and it's easier than the, having to do all the if editing and stuff. Does it, it has to be you Kev yeah I, I got a few pretty good. close Trader's oh, Village man I mean yeah. I think it would be it'd be cool to, to see, see it live that Trader World that you go to is really really good yeah Brad you know Cam was bringing yeah. up uh, that dirt cheap store that's only in Texas oh I, I've never seen one I know Craig from the he's been in there. But you know, where I live in Texas, I'm down in the very south end right now, right next to Mexico, where uh like uh Hulk, Uber Hulk and Narc and uh Rube the Great, they're all up in the north end, like the Fort Worth, Dallas area. That's yep. about, that looks like a good area to to hunt. 
Yeah. It seems like uh, I know Craig did an episode where he went to a Mattel outlet in Dallas what? that sold stuff for a fraction of the retail. Wow. <laughs> Judson's going to have a list. All right, turn to the left. Judson's in the house? <laughs> yeah. There he is. He's like, yeah, go live. That way I can tell you what to grab. That's our cannibal, bro. Yeah. Plastic cannibals. There you go. We need Judson up here because uh, Uber Holt says we need more beards. He says we need more beards. Judson's I had one. Work. I shaved it off at, for work. <laughs> Too clean, sir. You need to I have to do a filter back. for like a Gandalf beard. <laughs> But well, you, if you're gonna do that, you need uh, overkill up here. Yeah. Uh, Brad actually lives in Shreveport, Louisiana. I'm from Louisiana originally. Yeah, Campbell's right there. He's uh, in in Louisiana. I have dirt cheap and five below in Shreveport. Nice. Yeah, I didn't know we had five below till I actually started looking for it. We I went over I to told her, until I told you to go find one. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was cool. I, I need to actually get that. Yeah. <laughs> but you'd have a biker beard also, fine. Judson. <laughs> we should all grow beards for a tag team. Be like uh, no 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 uh shave November or something. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> what I, always, I always say it's funny the reality of uh, toy hunters because yeah. when you think about a toy hunter you think like Pixel Dan, you know, nice clean cut looking guy. But in reality, we're all tattooed up and bearded and look like criminals. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Pixel Dan is way too happy. He's happy and clean because he probably has a good doctor with a he's script. Mainstream, bro. He's got to have that appearance. Uh, Caesar, I'm, I'm actually uh, probably an hour north of Brownsville. I'm pretty close to there. Wow. Brownsville is practically Mexico. Yeah. Yeah, it's really close to Mexico. I'm 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 less than two hours from to Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, her uh Emily's brother used to live in Brownsville. Yeah. Oh, so, you said not yeah. the greatest city. <laughs> it's where uh Mike and them used to live. So I've been to Car- like Car- 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 one time. Oh, it all grows in all ingrained. <laughs> Who's the Lego collector in this group? Mm. Not me. I don't, I don't collect a site, any of the sets. They're too I expensive. Guess you, yeah, they're expensive. Now They're cheap now, though, with like the holidays I saw. They go on clearance pretty frequently. Giant Man's going to stand in for me for a second. I haven't, Brad, but I definitely want to. It's just... Dallas is eight hours away, so it's hard to get up there. There's a trail. Yeah, we were doing a meetup at one time. I don't know if we're if we're gonna get to do that eventually or not. You gotta hurry up and do that because some of us are getting old, man. We may not be around. <laughs> we're getting we're getting ready to do that in Lexington, Kentucky. Eventually. Yeah, you're supposed to be on a plane, Kev. Oh uh, yeah, you're gonna get that plane supposed ticket. To there? A- They're gonna have to dart me. <laughs> if the TSA will uh, let you be through. like uh, Mr. T. Baracus, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm the same way, Caesar. Uh, if like the Legos, if I find them cheap, I, I buy them. I have a lot of Legos, and I'm not even a Lego collector. And I probably have a t- like. I remember, I bought that uh pack from uh, what's his name? Uh, yeah, uh, that used to be oh. in our group. Can't remember his name. Let's uh, see. <laughs> okay, I can't remember. But I bought like 30 or 40 of the little figures. Mm-hmm. So I got yeah, to take them somewhere. A secret room that you just, you know, you push a button to go down into your into this basement where there's nothing but toys, like stacks and stacks and stacks of toys. <laughs> <laughs> Reality, they're part of the wall now that keeps our house together. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the like, question for the tattoo toy hunter. What are we going to do with our stuff when we die? Does our wife or significant other know what our wishes are? Oh, man. Probably uh, probably sell it all and Sancho could buy beer with it. I don't know. <laughs> My wife Caesar's, says he has yeah. Caesar's collection would be worth like millions. All those uh, 
higher end uh, Mezco. He's got paper. like actual lightsabers and shit. The good stuff, yeah, the good, the good stuff. Yeah, but the problem is, is that they may not know it's worth a million dollars, so they might sell it for, you know, <laughs> nothing. That's right. Uh, you know, for my family, like, uh, none of them are into collecting, like, my immediate family. So, I, once I die, I don't care what they do with my stuff. I'm not going to ever see it again, probably. So. What about your brother that you just told me about? Oh, uh, my brother? I don't know. He's not really into it either. I would really just tell well, him. What was he like as a kid? What was his favorite toy as a kid? Uh, Same stuff you had? Yeah, I guess so. He was more always like the video games type. Mm. Yeah, he was a video game. Four he fixed. still is. He's like you guys that are the shoot 'em up first player online stuff. Yeah, games before figs. Yeah. Well, that's a gateway. If y'all ever like uh, Playmates, uh, Simpsons, you know, the, the early 2000s where they have the interactive uh, little rooms that they could plug into and and uh brad campbell he needs to you got to see his collection of simpsons it's insane uh, i can imagine he's close to having it complete and there's a lot of stuff in it it's incredible caesar says he's got his uh collection wheeled out to his daughter oh that's cool smart yeah i i don't mind my family selling it all off i don't we've never really discussed it but they can they could sell it i don't care brad needs the catalog he's he's got a so, and uh, the stuff he shows on his videos he's got some nice uh motu stuff i think a lot of classics too yeah he does and so, some pretty expensive pops he's got some that are very valuable Yeah, y'all have you? Do y'all have any of those ninety-nine cent stores? Any of you where you're around? I've seen videos of people. I only have out Dollar of, Trees. Just Dollar Tree, me too. And Dollar Tree, you do only has crap toys. You're right. Yeah, just junk. Well, you, <laughs> you can buy toys. some cheap Dio stuff, like little chairs and tables. But uh, I've seen the people in those ninety-nine cent stores pulling out like tons of pops for like two or three dollars. Well, that's like uh, yeah. I, I see that uh, fiddle thing at Ross the other day. That Doof Warrior to, uh, from Mad Max, that's worth a lot of money because you can't find it, and it was only two dollars. I mean, I told him in his, you know, in the comments, like, "Hey, man, you need to grab that. That's worth a lot of money." Dang. Yeah. Oh, David, I'm sorry. Yeah, I got. I don't have a lot, but uh, I have uh, the animated series. I've got uh, like four carded, and I've got probably five or six loose. Definitely not complete, but. That's all I have, I think, from the animated series. I have a uh, all loose Earthworm Jim. I probably got four or five, and they're all loose, also. Yeah, yeah, you have Cy Crow. Yeah, that crow in the space uniform. Yeah, and I got like a rat, that a weird looking Jim's, rat. Jim's uh, main villain, and you have the dog. Yeah, you know, Earthworm, Jim, Earthworm Jim is the shit. <laughs> Cy Crow, man, that game was incredible for its day. Yep, for sure. It's sure it's a really good game. Yeah, yeah. Dang, incredible cool. graphics for the 16-bit era. Oh, and the other oh, one is the, the uh, yeah. rat, the minion. Yeah, Bucky, Bucky O'Hare. That's the other one I was thinking. Bucky O'Hare. Yeah, those toys. I really want to get in that line, but Bucky goes for a lot now. You can get them. Centurion for carded. Centurions is another line of yours that you love. In the Super age. pricey, though. It's a dangerous black hole to get into. <laughs> they were great toys, though. Amazing. I love them. It's going to take me the rest of my life to piece them together, to be honest, because I'm getting, like, one missile here. Or... Hello, speech fairies. Uh-oh. Val. What? Man, I love his uh, that, that vintage giant man there. That's an awesome figure. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right. Campbell says he scored wow. some of those Black Series helmets that come in the two pack at the Dollar Tree. Oh yeah, the the Dollar Tree and uh, Five Below. I've seen them there too. I've seen them. I've seen, I've seen them at Five all. Below, but Dollar Tree, that's a deal. Yeah, I've seen them all at Ross. Also, I've seen every one of those. I just have no. Uh, What's up, Speech Fairies? How you doing, sir? 
I have no desire to collect those little helmets, though. I, really I don't have... either. Me neither. I think they're cool. I think someone gave them to me. I would collect them forever. Like, if it was on my desk, if I had a desk, which I'm going to have a desk. Yeah. A desk that you do your editing and all? Thing, but not for the house collecting. Yeah. Yeah, Black Series, I mean, you know, it's more, for me, it's for more, more figures than uh, anything else, you know. And the, the figures that I like from Star Wars, not, you know, I'm not one of those people who wants to get everything that they make. Now that uh, Caesar had mentioned that, uh, do y'all remember those Burger King Simpson plush? They're yes. very collectible. I had them. Their heads were rubber. I got uh, two of them. The for, I got plastic, them right? For my buddy Christopher Smith, he's over here in Houston, Texas. Yeah. He, he kind of posts a lot around our Facebook groups. Christopher? Yeah, I know Chris. And I picked him a couple up at a fleet at a thrift store once. Those right. guys. I see them all the time. The heads were hard plastic, right? And the body. The heads were hard. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I had all over. those from Burger King. They were amazing. <laughs> yeah, the Buzz Lightyear would be nice. Star Wars is overrated. So he needs to be kicked. <laughs> He's gonna start a war. He needs to be booed. It's probably the best thing Burger King <laughs> did. Did Burger King do the Alf, the little records with the Alf puppets? Was it Burger King? Someone <laughs> did. <laughs> yeah, it was Burger Someone King. Someone did. So, yeah. At one time, Burger King was really good. No, oh, it sucked. <laughs> remember the gold Pokemon cards in the ball? Yeah. Were they were they kind of like foil? Yeah, those they were like gold foil. Yeah. Yeah. Burger those are like so valuable on eBay now. Whoa. Yeah, Burger King just did these. They're pretty cool. I remember when McDonald's had the basketball cards when Shaq was a rookie. Damn, I feel old. Whoa. Wipe out. Wipe out. Oh, I love those Treehouse of Horror Simpsons. Uh, also, the Kid Robot do some pretty cool Simpsons stuff. That Kid Robot, mini uh, vinyls. Yeah. Tim Burton's awesome. Earthworm Jim carded is nice. You know, I uh, man, someone did, and I, if I can't remember your name, I'm sorry, but there's this guy that is a crazy uh, action figure customizer, and he made the whole line of uh, Spaceballs figures custom, and they look like like someone got the license and did it themselves, like a real company. He did such a good job. He even made a video to show me. Well, the question is, I, I always ask somebody, is where the merchandise from the uh, actual movie is. You know, they actually made action figures for the movie, you know, and uh, like this, the uh, somebody has to own that prop for the the, oh, the flamethrower and all that. Right. Yeah. yeah. I guess some of that stuff just did not circulate. A lot of it, like if it was something failed and then they sell, they sell the molds to overseas companies. And yeah. Uh... How bad did Hasbro and Marvel drop the ball? Uh, yeah, it was for the Venom movie that had the movie likeness. Yeah, they could have went crazy with that. Huh? Did some good stuff. <laughs> because custom Venoms that are modeled after the movie Venom are like all the rage. Yeah, people are doing some really cool kit bashes and all that. Zombies ate my neighbor. That would have been cool. Game. Yeah. Those uh kid robot blind boxes, they're expensive, man. I can't spend 12, 13 bucks on that stuff. Oh, yeah. The cheap in me comes out. The really Chambo know. Custom Dioramas. What's up, brother? Oh sweet. Yo, what's up, oh, man? It's, he, he's, his channel's really good. Oh, yeah. What's up, Ruben? Same he's another one of my favorite uh, diorama builders. Everybody can't get. He's going to go sell it for himself on that. Around the concert concert. Up in December, Virginia. <laughs> we got to get El Chambo to two question, so buddy. We can finally give that Silver Surfer away. That's a good question, man. I've got thousands of dollars and hours on tattoos over 25 years, Michael. <laughs> and also, I still have the thing. All I need is, I think, 15 more subscribers. Yeah. If all of you, man, we appreciate everybody right now on the stream. You can hit up our brother, Elite Legends, uh, that's on the live stream with us right now, and give him a sub. He's got an awesome figure he's going to be giving away uh, as soon as he hits it. 
A lot of people argue that the Walgreens thing is legend of the year. Definitely. I thought Silver Surfer was pretty cool. It's, it's harder to... That's, that's, another one. that's another one in contention. El Chambo Custom Dioramas is giving away a Silver Surfer. Yeah, that's what... It, and, it, you know, Silver Surfer, you don't find that no more. Yeah. So I that's have that's definitely one to pick up. Click on El Chambo Custom Dioramas right now and sub them. Get them to 200. Appreciate and it, Caesar. Thanks, guys. And check out my um, Silver Surfer. Um, it was a pretty simple cu customization. I just made the board and magnetized. <laughs> Added oh, with the, the bottom of his feet. With the dio that you made with him? I didn't do a dio. I just had um, I just took a Silver Surfer. Yeah. Was it a base, though? You had him kind of up? Uh, right up here. Ah, very nice looking. So this is the original base. This is the Toy Biz base. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but I just um, dremeled into his feet. So you can, if you can see, I don't know. You see that? Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. So now, dremeled in there, secured it with crazy glue or gorilla glue. Yeah. Stays right on there. Oh, well, oh. I'll be holding that way, but. Well, I mean, uh, Caesar said something about he liked the Human Torch. Do you think the Toy Biz Human Torch was better than the Legends? Or Hasbro? I think everybody yeah. has their favorites that they're going to stick with. Like, you ask David, David's not going to come out in the 90s. And David's uh, going to say, <laughs> give me the Toy Biz. Exactly, which is cool. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I happen to particularly like from the first two movies, I have the 2005 wave of all of them. And I like those. I think they did a. They didn't have the face scan technology, and it still looks like Jessica Alba. I think they did good. Yeah, I like that. Uh, the fantastic car you have. That that was cool. I, I love that thing. Yeah, and it breaks apart into three pieces that, that all. Yeah, I wish yeah, the one I I had the Goodwill all tore up. Like I said before, you know. Yeah, yeah. Can't, no way I could piece it back together. So so destroyed. Yeah. Let me see. Oh. I'm just now dropping a link to El Chambo's yeah. channel. Star Command Custom Toys, the Buzz Lightyear. Y'all have y'all ever seen those? I saw a Buzz Lightyear that was like a chrome, like silver body. I thought that was the neatest thing. I didn't pick it up. Oh man, Iron Giant was a cool character. I like that real player one. Uh, there's a part of it where uh, he throws a car. I was, I was asking my wife, I said, I wonder where the car ended up. It would be funny if it ended up in another DreamWorks picture. Yeah. Who made the tour? <laughs> they could do Who a little Easter egg. <laughs> I'm not sure. Did they have a, I, I remember an Iron Giant. Yeah, it's a really, the Iron Giant uh, toy is really, really nice and it's really expensive. Yeah. Dang. A vintage one or a re release? It's a, it came out when the movie came out, so and it actually talked. It, um, you can if you look at it, you can sell yeah, to us, buddy. Yeah, like a hundred over a hundred dollars or more for the to, to, uh, the Iron Giant toy. Yeah, Jack Septicai has one. My wife just reminded me. If you can, uh, well, I, I guess everybody on here that are on. Uh, Google Hangouts on their phone won't be able to post on the screen, the stream. I, I am. Can. Yeah, me and you can. I think uh, my computer just got it muted. Yeah. But after I after we get off here, I'm gonna put all of everybody's links down, and uh, also you can find like our buddy Caesar Diaz at uh, OBM, which is way over two thousand. Subscribers now that's insane to do that. I think that's probably harder than a, a YouTube channel. I don't know because you got to actually get people and keep them around, so you got to really be putting out good comment content to have that many people on your in your group. Well, it's like today, I mean, sometimes it's hard just to do videos because you're so busy at work and everything. You know, I try I, at one time I was trying to do a video a day, I know you do like two or three, maybe. Every other day or so. Yeah, you know? one every other day. I mean, yeah, it's, it's not easy. 
Yeah, exactly. Especially like you were saying one uh, the other day, you said that you do that, go to work, plus work a second job, plus comment on everybody else's videos. So, yeah, <laughs> it's hard. Yeah, like us, we have four people in our family. Everybody has their own uh, schedules, and you know the kids are teenagers, so they got things going on. Wife got, I got things. I got three jobs. <laughs> Trend Masters, that was a good company, right? They came out with some really good old stuff. What's up, Rob802? How you doing, brother? I'm glad that you got that uh, Transformer I sent you. Ar Man, that Archangel is amazing. And I think people are getting it a lot cheaper now, that Legends uh, Archangel. Yeah, well, uh, I think yeah, they're getting it from the GameStop, right? For pretty cheap. Yeah, it's been coming out on GameStop. And GameStop's had, like, the Black Friday. And I think right now they have a 25% off. Going on. It was an online store. Had it for nineteen dollars. I missed a boat on it though. Yeah, I saw someone post that too. Yeah, there was an online store. It had them. It had a bunch of legends, huh? A lot cheaper for a little while. Yeah. I think you get red regular legends for like fifteen or sixteen too. Or... Oh, have you seen oh, my wow. new leg archangel? Here's... This sucks. Uh, I got the original. <laughs> uh, well, I got the new one, Black Friday, but this is pretty crappy. I think it looks good. <laughs> From here? Well, it looks good from far until you hold it in your hand. It's but um, far from good. He has no um, waist articulation. Yeah. He has a. Uh, well, me... Yeah, I wish we had that Trend Masters company back. To... They came out with some really good stuff back in the day. Yeah, I think uh, El Chombo should do a pizza <laughs> room for a di diorama. That'd be kind of cool. I could say the same thing about yeah El Chambo. His his skill level is ridiculous on those dioramas, and he makes them like effortlessly. There's so many he has, and they look incredible. Like it's and weird he to make stuff with like real metal. He can yeah. do dioramas for any scale figure. Yeah, and any textures like he can go space age and go rustic kind of. I'll have like real friggin' plants and shit. <laughs> it's true. I am an insomniac, but that's more for health issues. I guess it helps me in the video. <laughs> I, I try, like, I'm lucky, I'm fortunate enough, like David's mentioned it before, too, I'm fortunate enough in my line of work, I'm always traveling, like, we transport people all over Texas, and then once we drop them off, we have time, you know, we can go anywhere we want, really, because we're not doing 911, I don't do 911 anymore, ambulance, I do other type of transport, so it's not as critical anymore. Yeah. This is still my go-to human torch, but the articulation... That's your favorite torch? That's a good-looking torch. Yeah, I just wish you had... I prefer the Hasbro. Do you? Hasbro needs to make a more transparent. Version. Well, like Caesar was saying in the stream, too, he likes the new one the, with the huh? fire effects and the translucent pieces that... I mean, you can't... Yeah, it does look good. It's a beautiful yeah, piece, but I, I like I have it. classic. Yeah. That's where we're torn. We got we got vintage collectors, we got modern collectors, and then we got hybrid vintage modern collectors. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. I think most of us up here are, are the hybrids. We got we all got some old and some new. Well, I think like like uh, Looker said, you should collect what you love, not you know, not He's what you like. Cool. Yep, is right. is true. Oh, yeah, guys, just so I don't forget, now that uh, Rob mentioned it, Rob just just hit 200 subs, or he's about to. He, he, at 205, he's going to give away some really cool Hot Wheels. So everybody go over to his channel, too, sub him, and you get a chance for get some pretty cool stuff, too. Okay. That's a cool – do that. It's nice to have the chance to get, like, another Christmas. <laughs> hey, I'm 201. I just subbed him. Awesome. He lives in a real beautiful area. There's like a lot of nice landscape out there and rivers and mountains. If you could return the favor, it'd be much appreciated, Rob. Yeah, Rob, go hit up everybody you can and we'll all uh, share it. Yeah, Brad, that Toy Biz torch. Man, but you know what? They came out with a lot of Toy Biz torch. It feels like every year they came out with a torch. <laughs> I've got a few, several different ones that have variants where he's human, not burning. You know, he's not on fire. And some that he's half, and some that he's all. Some that he's in that, that one that's like a snowmo, a snowsuit with a ski board or whatever, snowboard. 
Rob's gonna have to give away some toys already. It looks like he's coming up. Yep. <laughs> so we're about helping out our fellow. You on, Dondi? Sure. Dondi. Yeah. Talk about give away about how much stuff I gave you. What's that? The stuff you want from Nerdbuster. Oh, yeah, I got a big package. Uh, how how Buster. much did he load that down, dude? That yeah, it was huge. I mean, it was like all kind of stuff. I mean, uh, had hero clicks. It was all from San Diego Comic Con. Oh, nice. Yeah. I love you. Uh, hero clicks. Yeah, I had. You uh, need a homer? War. A lot of stuff. I wish uh, 23 Fams would uh, show G1 because he got a lot of stuff. That I you know? still in the chat? Yeah, he he uh, he uh, he said he had the uh, the uh, he had the footage, but he hasn't put it up yet because he hadn't had time. But I mean, man, I, I I loaded his package down big time. Which one do you have the bigger package? <laughs> <laughs> there, there's our mascot. <laughs> On a cat. Or a yeah. dog. It's a dog. That's, oh, no. that's, that's the cat team mascot. That's Raven. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. start doing some uh, anim animated figure characters, like a logo for our tag team, and I'm going to throw throw her in there. Okay. Her name's Raven. That's Raven, the tag team mascot. Good puppy. <laughs> My wife says now, now says she wants a puppy. Thank you, Sam, man. You're welcome. <laughs> Have you already... Have y'all gone to uh, Brad Campbell's uh, YouTube channel? Yeah, his channel's dope. Man, that guy is, I think he's professional, but I mean, that guy, his work, his design, yeah, his, stuff, so ridiculous. his graphics, like it's top notch because I think he's, that's what he does. But he is, if you watch his channel, very, uh, very fun to watch. <clears throat> And he like he's the type too. He goes out and he gets good deals. He's not always just going out buying uh, just retail price. Like he's he hunts and he he finds like discounts and all that. So it's cool to see the stuff he gets. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Y'all mind if I talk about the uh, Stanley challenge a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't, everybody knows that Stanley passed away recently, and I proposed a challenge on my on my channel, um, basically to all of the uh, toy uh, you know collector community and you and toy tubers, and the challenge is that you should go out and buy a couple of uh, comic book related action figures and donate them to a charity like Toys for Tots and film it, and then challenge you know more people to to do the same thing. Uh, Sandman just got done doing uh, his video, and like I said, it, it, I mean, it, it's really um, important to me that this, you know, blows up because if we can, you know, get a lot of us to do it, it gives, you know, allows us to give back what the joy that, you know, Stanley gave to us. So, you know, um, I know that Tattoo Toy Hunter is going to do it because he said that uh, he done it last year, which I think I watched that video. Yeah. Um, but uh, <clears throat> I would uh, really appreciate all of y'all to check out my video, you know, on Life Anime Gaming, and then go out and do the same, so we can, you know, give back um, as a community, you know. Yeah, definitely. Little, yeah. I think uh, everybody should also like. You're not all YouTubers or make YouTube videos, you know. That's fine. You can like post on Instagram, maybe uh, tag us, you know. Let yeah, it, definitely. Let um, if you Instagram, Facebook page, whatever. Yeah, just get on Facebook and say, "Hey, I completed the, you know, Stanley Take challenge." Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, everybody was doing that. M what was it, MSD? Whatever water, bu bucket, ice water bucket oh, challenge. No, yeah, I mean, and they were posting that everywhere. So you know, we should do the same for Stanley. I think. Yeah, just give what you can. You know, I think that's why ultimately we didn't end up putting a price tag on it. Just uh, some people are tight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could if you go out, and just, you know, if you even go out and donate your time, you know, say, hey, I can't give a figure, but I'm gonna donate, you know, my time, or even, 
you know, say, hey, I can't do this, but I want to pass along, you know, the challenge, you know? Yeah. yeah. I mean, whatever you can do. I mean, because uh, Dan gave us so much. I mean, I, I wouldn't be a comic book collector today if it wasn't for him because, you know, I've started reading Wolverine and, you know, Marvel Comics. That's where I where I started, you know, got into uh, comic book collecting. And, I mean... His influence, I mean, waking up on Saturday morning and hearing True Believers, you get what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. that's 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 the stuff, you know? Can't, you can't, his voice is like etched in the imagination of a lot of people. Definitely. So, I mean, just as everybody here, if y'all, I mean, uh, Uber Hawk, uh, you know, I already, I already challenge El Trombo, you know, uh, Brad Campbell. You know, everybody, just you know, you know, do what you can. That's all I ask. <clears throat> and if y'all choose to donate to Toys for Talks, and it's cool because uh, they'll actually give you a little uh, tour through the what they've already collected. They did that for me. They'll let you go in and see like what it's actually doing and where it's where it's going to. It's pretty neat. Yeah. Uh oh, what was that? <laughs> We lost it. <laughs> uh oh. Everybody's going. Down. We should start swiping their toys now. No one's protecting them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. Just reach through the screen and grab them. <laughs> I got dibs on the Sentinel. <laughs> <laughs> Not there. Nope. He's there. A, yeah. He he has he has incredible hawks sitting right there and a hawk by Stratus. Give them too. <laughs> What's up, Art G? How you doing, buddy? I'm glad to see you here. Hey, Art. Hey, Kyle, Kyle's in. What's up, buddy? That's another. He 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 also I want to give away from Art G, which was uh, some of the little uh, <clears throat> figures. So you know he he's his channel is really great. You yeah, check it out. like his new uh, his new graphics, his intros and stuff. Man, that's that's top notch nowadays. Yeah, Ooh, RG. Yeah, R yeah, RG, yeah. That, his new stuff. It looks yeah, his awesome. new entrance is awesome. Yeah, he... hey, Kyle's in the chat. Yeah, Kyle's <laughs> in there. Watch you later. <laughs> he's our he's our young customizer. He's young AF, as they say. Yeah, he's do totally AF. Oh my god! <laughs> I remember 30, 40 years ago when I was AF like him. <laughs> What's up, Bart? Hey, yeah. Uh, you can't just. Hey, say David that. Patrick. I don't know if you you noticed know, <laughs> we actually have a uh, Goof Troop T-shirt that they used to sell at Target for Powerline. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I actually have one. It has the tour dates on the back for Powerline. From Goof Troop. Man, you know what that uh, David was mentioning that uh, Inspector Gadget. I I like the movie with uh, I can't remember who the was it. Uh, yeah, Brock? Gonna... David oh, Brock. RG's in here too. What's up? Oh yeah, RG? RG's. That's why we were bringing him up. Hey, I was just mentioning how slick he was. <laughs> yeah, he's he's in the house. Oh. He went he's to an over... He went to New York Comic Con, man. He goes to the good places. Well, he lives up that way, so you know. Yeah. I mean, that one, uh, mm -hmm. that one new con that they had um, in his area was really nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The one that the Are same you, people. Was, all that new York con that they did there. I can't remember the name of it right off the top of my head now. Yeah. He got some good footage too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, he was working for him. I thought. I think he was. Uh, yeah. That's that's really cool that you can actually get into a bigger con and work for them. Yeah. <clears throat> What's up, Colin? All the way from Liverpool, England. How's England? Are you, uh, during the daytime Across right the now? Con. Yeah. Hey, Dondi, tell him about that thing that you were telling us about 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 YouTube and your oh, article thirteen. He may already know about it, um, Colin. You you know about article thirteen? Have you heard the news, mate? <laughs> The queen. <laughs> Old chap. Is, uh, one question I would like to—he uh, probably hears this all the time—is he a? Uh, 
he probably is a. Uh... Oh shoot! I just went off my head. Uh... Well, after three a.m. Nah, he doesn't know nothing about it. He says. Artist. Doctor Who fan. Oh man, I want to get into that. I heard that's actually pretty good. What Doctor Who? Yeah. Oh man. In it around forever. Uh, We're gonna have to pull you into the fandom, man. Y'all I don't got nothing against Doctor Who. I'm just not into it. You, you you need to speak to Kevo because he'll he'll pull you in quick and in a hurry. <laughs> Y'all made me an anime fan now. Now you're gonna make me like the Doctor Who. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Look, I'm yeah. watching Murder She Wrote right now. Okay. Casual <laughs> <laughs> is hot as fuck. Hey, at least you're not watching the uh, Star Wars yeah, yeah. holiday special. Migo, didn't Migo make a Murder She Wrote doll? Angela Lansbury, yeah, probably. <laughs> well, yeah, you met Rob. Um, I don't know about the new Doctor Who either. I mean, they're not doing a Christmas special this year, so. Honey, <laughs> must I? I'll tell you guys the thing I like is Sherlock. Sherlock was good. Sherlock was good. What do you like, the original, or do you like uh, the movie? No, the one with uh, Downey Jr. The one who's Doctor Strange. Yeah, what's the name? Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch, yeah. Yeah. All you gotta do is ask my wife. She'll be like, I love that man. And then you wipe (laughs) the drool. Gotta clean the drool a little bit. (laughs) <laughs> He's like what? Fanning yourself. You <laughs> asked if you're fanning yourself. <laughs> Thinking about Cumberbatch. <laughs> oh yeah, I hear that Toy Story Four is in the in the makings. I heard that too. Cumberbatch is going to be in Toy Story Four. Ah, uh, probably with that voice. Oh, that would be sick. It's not his voice. It's his voice. <laughs> like, hey, ladies. <laughs> supposed to be a toy. Brad, he knows what Sherlock's about, man. The way that series ended was crazy. Uh, with his sister. No, no spoilers. In that prison, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> no spoilers. I love um, the guy who's Watson. And he's also in the MCU. Yeah, he's the... Uh... He's one of the uh, shoot Martin guys, Freeman. right? Martin Freeman is his name. I think he's a hell of an actor. You seen the new Goofy one coming? Not Goofy, the character, but the new Goofy uh, one of that, uh, what's his name, Sherlock Holmes? With the guys from Step Brothers? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen the previews for that. It looks stupid. <laughs> oh, uh, John C. Riley? Hey, come come yeah, back Riley to me. Grinch movie. And the other one. Oh, who's seen the new uh, Wreck It Ralph already? Because I know that's oh. out. I'm I'm taking my uh, brother from another mother, uh, Kevin uh, Nettles, to see it for his birthday. In my opinion, Wreck It Ralph is the best video game movie of all time, and it's not even based on a real game. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> the game came from the movie. Wreck and Ralph too, but he's saying that the first one was the best video game ever, movie ever. Well, I mean, I, I, I you know, in a way, uh, it's like it's the best commu- computer generated. They haven't done a really good live action yet. They never probably will, man, because look at the <laughs> Mario Brother film. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you ever try to watch Doom with The Rock? I love The Rock. Kev, we were talking about the Street Fighter live action movie. How horrible. But like, oh, was, God, no. He action was figure. high when he filmed it. <laughs> action Fitter Addict 112 as Action <laughs> 112. <laughs> yeah, I want to see. I want to see it. Well, yeah, Ready, Ready Player One was close to oh. you know, in a way. It's not really a video game movie. It's based on pop culture, so we can't really <laughs> give that title. I thought it was okay. It was good. Yeah, it was okay. It was entertaining. The book was yep. better. Yeah, but it, like I said, it wasn't a video game movie. It wasn't based on a video game. You know, it was based on a the book. Time, so, it was more about being someone who grew up in the late seventies. Yeah, so, pop culture. It's almost like a Funko Pop. Basically, of, you and Kevin's. Error. 70s, 80s. I mean, there was some some of those references. I mean, 
You yeah. have to be very hardcore to get them. You know. Yeah, yeah. There was, I love the Gundam. I love the Gundam. That part. That part was. That's kind of funny. <clears throat> Yeah, Ruben's talking about the live action Street Fighter. I'll do my impersonation. Y- y'all didn't know that I do impersonations. <laughs> You're like, Ryuki. Well, we can that? all go home, except I'm not going home. I'm going to get in my boat. I'm going to kick Bison's ass so hard. The next <laughs> Bison want to be. He's going to feel it. Well, what do, you, what do y'all think of. <laughs> Yeah. Hello? Echo, you thought you got cut off. <laughs> Mute him. Mute the Don D for no reason. David asks, uh, who would y'all like to see a, as a villain for Toy Story 4? It's oh kind of hard God. because they're not bringing in outside characters. You know, it's what only about uh, Batman? Stretch Armstrong's villain. That'd be cool. Batman should be the villain. Man, that Teddy Bear in three, he was pretty messed up, though, and the little kid. <laughs> he, was. he was a bastard, man, that Teddy Bear. <laughs> Did you know that Totoro was in there? Man? Yeah, Toy Story 2, right? The last one? No, the last one no, was three, two. bro. Three. When they yeah, got three. donated three. to that little kid's place. And yeah, then, it, like, little it, ones, little yeah, in three, there's a the, when it, when um one of them ends up in the little girl's room, uh, there's a Totoro as one of the figures. Oh, that's cool. To, if you don't know, Totoro is uh a uh, anime character done by um what's his name, baby Miyazaki. Miyazaki. Like, like Hello Kitty or whatever. No, uh, there's a it's my you know Spirited Away. Have you ever seen that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, the, same, the same creator is called uh, My Neighbor Totoro, and he's a li- he's basically a fur a big furry spirit. You you seen those uh, memes where you see this guy holding an umbrella and he's big and furry? That's Totoro. Yeah. They do that a lot in in Disney movies. They put like uh, different uh, characters and in, uh, in you know hidden in the in the movies. So Brad Campbell's a huge Studio Ghibli fan. Yeah. They're okay. I don't... I'm not as... Bleh, all over them like everyone else is. I respect their work. I just don't... Well, let's uh, talk... Like, uh, let's talk uh, anime, Gandhi. Okay. Let's turn this... Well, <laughs> yeah, I can talk about that all night. You, 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 that's why my channel is called Life Anime Gaming, because I can talk about anime all day. <laughs> I mean, as, as you know, most people here know. I mean, um, uh, Akira I, isn't that your favorite, or is it Gurren? Gurren Logon is my favorite. But Tattoo Toy Hunter is you got big into One Punch Man, right? Yeah, that's the only one so far. I watched the entire season. And you I like connect it. with One Punch Man more than anything. Yeah, I can't. I can't wait to see part um, season two of that. It's gonna be really good. You know, there's no season two of One Punch Man. Not yet. Maybe two Punch Man. Hold it as long as it's been out. <laughs> and then he's Slap Man this year. <laughs> Slap Man. <laughs> um, uh, you don't even like the '80s Voltron, Kev? Uh, I didn't watch it, but no. I like it. I like. Didn't watch it. I like the. Toy. I love that show. It was so violent. Well, I mean, I have. <laughs> About uh, Speed Racer, he said he didn't even watch that. I didn't oh, watch that. Cool. I didn't watch Power Rangers. None. Like people are like what? Power Rangers. I watched. Let's the new talk Power about Rangers. '80s cartoons. All right. Oh, yeah. What were you watching on Saturday morning? It's Thundercat. In the morning. Winnie the Pooh. If it was a school day. You'd still be in the bed. What are you watching, Hector? Winnie the Pooh Bear. Well, he would come on at six. Uh, so Pooh Bear was at six a.m. I think G.I. Joe came out at 6.30. Um, Transformers was right after that. By the time school started, it was um, the Bozo show. Did you guys get that out in your... Oh, I love the Bozo. That was filmed in your city, right? Chicago. Yeah. So I I always thought I was going to be the at-home player. 
So I would always go to school. Uh, <laughs> I lived about 15 minutes away, so I would I would get to school about four minutes late because I always thought I was going to be the at-home player. Uh, but it turns out my mom never my ever sent in <laughs> anything for me to be the at-home player. I, I just we used to do the grand prize you. game at the house, like a mock version. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's where you they had Batman on there, and um, I always wanted one of the cakes for the birthday. Dude, he gave away some dope toys. Bozo did on the grand. Yeah, party. towards the end of the bucket, there was good. Yeah, he'd be like, "Who wants to win the flag?" He'd have the USS flag and be like, <laughs> <laughs> "But he ran. What did that ran from the '60s to the '80s, right?" Yeah, it's different. Like, Bozo does now. Who? Cecil Grayskull. <laughs> you remember them um, that, was... that you can point them at the TV and you were supposed to be able to interact with the cartoon? Captain, the... Uh, Captain Power. Oh, I got. Captain I actually Power. got a lunchbox. Oh, my God. You bring him back, I man. I actually got a lunchbox box of his. Didn't he have, like, a Christmas light stuck in his chest or something? <laughs> it's like a bunch of lasers, basically, that you can shoot at. The, it was almost like an interactive video game for TV. Yeah, uh, David Patrick saying the kids WB line up in the early 90s and then into the 2000s. For sure. They had what? The animated Batman series, Batman Beyond, a Static Shock, the Superman animated series, which was really good. We're talking cartoons, Kev. Man, I like all the, all the traditional ones. Remember? I remember like the traditional ones, like what everybody's gonna say. If you missed it, you were upset the whole rest of the Saturday. You were pissed huh. because oh, someone made you miss it. Well, yeah. Ghostbusters was that for me. I would always miss. The real Ghostbusters. Yeah. I Kev, it was uh, that cheesy uh, Rude Dog show that was on NBC. <laughs> <laughs> who, here remembers, uh, who here remembers? Who uh, here remembers the um, the uh, Nintendo shows like the Mario and um, Zelda? Uh, Captain Lou 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 Lou. Yeah, Captain. Yeah, Captain Man. yeah. That show was uh, I, Simon Belmont was a little bitch on that show. Oh yeah, he was so <laughs> mean. <laughs> he never you wanted to fight fun. nothing. It's and then be like, all right, man, let's go down there and get these dudes. And since Belmont was like, oh, let me tie my shoe real quick. <laughs> <laughs> but I like go old school. Like, I liked Hanna Barbera. And... Those were the Sunday ones. I didn't really get into the Sunday ones so much. That's like uh, Thundercats. You know, Thundercats was the shit. Today's kids don't watch cartoons the way our generation did on Saturday. Yeah. Yep. They just don't exist anymore. Mm -mm. It's not the same. That I'll was a time-honored start, I, I started my Saturdays with the Garfield and Friends show. Oh, that was a good one. PBS. Like clockwork. That would be my <clears throat> get warmed up, get ready for the whole fucking day. We're for cartoons. Yeah. I started with my dad's favorites, which is like the Roadrunner, the Coyote. Yeah. Bugs okay. Bugs. Looney Tunes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That was like Bugs Bunny and yeah. Two can or not? Was it Yosemite? Um, yeah, I was the brat. I had Disney Channel as a kid, and I yeah. thought Disney's cartoons were like so much higher quality than Looney Tunes that I looked at Looney Tunes like the Pepsi of the cartoon <laughs> world, and Disney was Coke. <laughs> I, I I think it's it's with me. It's when whatever era you're talking about, like uh, back in the '80s. I think my first you know shows were that I would watch in the morning would be, uh, you know, Ghostbusters or oh, yeah. uh, the or, Ghostbusters uh, cartoon was fire. Yeah, and then yeah. Droids. Droids was cool too. Star Wars Droids. Yeah, oh, I vaguely good. remember it. Do you remember Danger Mouse? Yep. Oh Danger yeah. Mouse. yeah. Uh, I actually had a. Uh, and this is going to date me here. I actually had a uh, Mighty Mouse uh, sleeping bag when I was little. Eat. Mighty Mouse? <laughs> yeah. Danger Mouse was something else. He was British. Yeah. Hey. Right. Mighty Mouse. Say the Power day. House. <laughs> yeah, Mighty Mouse. 
Mm-hmm. You remember Snorkels? Yeah. Uh, Snorkels. They were like the uh, like the Smurfs, but on crack. Yeah. <laughs> Judson, Judson, settle this. Crack. What's what's the superior dark cola that's gonna kill you? Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Coke is Pepsi's what your is what you order when they don't offer Coke. Well, <laughs> it depends on whatever again, because at one time Coke was Coke. They had Coke. They had yeah, yeah. yeah. It's sweetened yeah. with cocaine. <laughs> Did yeah, you ever notice it? Yeah, play waiter for a second. <laughs> you hear me, Kevin? What's that? Play waiter for me one second. Tell me I'm in a pizzeria and you only offer Pepsi products. <laughs> okay. Hello, sir. What and then like ask me if it's okay. What would you like to drink, sir? And all we have is Pepsi. I'll have Coke. Pepsi, Pepsi Crystal. Crystal. <laughs> Pepsi Crystal. <laughs> uh, are you asking me, is it okay that you is have it okay? Pepsi? Is it okay yes. that we just have Pepsi? Is Monopoly money okay to pay? For- <laughs> oh, did I say Pepsi? I meant Pepsi. That's how you when they don't you have Chicago. They only have Diet Pepsi. <laughs> only Diet Pepsi. Oh, Justin, <laughs> man, Justin is on Team <laughs> Pepsi over Coke. Most respectable Chicago pizza place. What is wrong with y'all? How it does? I want to see everyone in the chat. I need to see some more Coca Cola team. Have you ever noticed that Pepsi and Coke? Don't like acid reflux, obviously. They taste so different until you add Crown to them. <laughs> and then they're both hey, okay. Going back to the cartoons, who here remembers uh, Ultra Force? Oh, yeah. Only because you told me what it was, I do. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised a lot of people don't remember Ultra Force. I still don't believe that story about them being bigger than Marvel and DC, though. They were at one time because they were a publisher for Image. Like if they were, you mean solely as a comic book maker, they were making. Yeah, yeah, money. yeah, yeah. They were, they were they, not I mean, as an entertainment entity. Yes, they were for for comics. They were uh, bigger. They were making more money than <coughs> Image and DC because uh, okay, they were. Okay, well, that's were, side. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that question question wrong. Coke and Pepsi. <laughs> Coke and Pepsi. Oh, David said a uh, Family Guy. Man, I'm not gonna lie, Family yeah. Guy, Family Guy, and Simpsons are like my favorite all-time cartoons. But if you had to pick, yeah, what? Well, it was like what Simpsons first, then uh, Beavis and Butthead, and then <coughs> ended up the Family Guy. It was like a, a almost like going from worse from okay to worse to even worser, and then we, you know, worse is not worse. Yeah, know, Brad, uh, kind of our what would it be worse? They're worse. worse. Even more worse. Okay. Like your mice from Mars. More yeah. worser. <laughs> oh, El Chambo said G Force, baby. Yeah. My hey, El Chambo, my what? wife actually cosplayed as uh, a character from uh, June Twenty One. Uh, Jill Jillipanakis. Street Sharks. Street Sharks. Yes. My bread and butter, Street butter, shark. Street, shark. Street sharks. The intro for that show was so cheesy. <clears throat> I like Rick and Morty. They and buy, they buy. They buy da, 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 Street sharks. Da, da, da. I don't know if that goes to it. I just added it with you. It sounded good. <laughs> it worked for my version. <laughs> yeah, Rick and Morty. They signed for another hundred and some uh, episodes. Signed a contract. I know. When are they coming out, out though? Like, I know it's been a while. <laughs> Danger Mouse. I used to watch Count Ducula, Brad. That was dope on Nickelodeon. Yeah, that was short lived. Ducula was some dark stuff, bro. That wasn't for like Ducula. little kids. Judd Zanotskut has some pretty good choices there. Strawberry Shortcake and Care Bears. Yeah, I used to watch both of those too, Justin, because of my it was sister's sister. fault. Have you my ever older seen, sister's uh, fault. I didn't have a Speaking of uh, Strawberry Shortcake, have you ever, ever watched Robot Chicken? You remember the toys? You could <laughs> smell the strawberry on them and stuff? Oh, yeah. Hey, those are highly collectible. I, I'm on online auction for If you find them today in the flea market? 
Mm-hmm. I haven't seen them, but um, now that I've been on these online toy auctions, people go crazy for that those short cake figures in the box with the, the little comb, and it came with a little oh, right sidekick there. character in it, and it had like a little booklet in the box. And if they were camp in the box, you could still get a scent of it today. And they, yeah. are, they go for a hey, lot um, of uh, Ooh, tag team toy collector beard products like that. <laughs> hey, Elite Legend, you should do a bitch pudding um, custom. <laughs> Who was that? Robot chicken. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, um, on Robot Chicken, they did a uh, parody of uh, Strawberry Shortcake, and one of the uh, dolls was called Bitch Pudding. I remember, oh yeah. She was a little risque. Hey, one of I was thinking of the. Do you ever see the GI Joe Awards, the Cobra Awards? <laughs> oh yeah. Public <laughs> service announcement. <laughs> that was on Robot Chicken? Yeah. Yeah, on Robot Chicken. Oh my god, I need to Google that. I need Wild to Bill, Google that. Wild Bill was impersonating Storm Shadow. Well, um, I like the part where uh, Optimus Prime got cancer. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> I remember that one. <laughs> they they no, no limits on that show. No. Nobody's <laughs> safe on Robot Chicken. It, was, it fits in with Family Guy and all the rest. Especially the Smurfs, man. They go after their Smurfs hard on Robot Chicken. Oh, yeah. They get slaughtered. (laughs) Fraggle Rock. Why is there only one girl? (laughs) (laughs) Smurf, you're coming with me. Yeah, there's one female in the Smurfs, and of course she was evil at one time. (laughs) She was made yeah, to kill uh, all the male made her, right? Yeah, and she was made to kill all the male smurfs. Seth Green, dude, that dude's a fool. Yeah. He's got a quite imagination. Imagine the his toy club. You know, oh, well, those- I mean, they have they use all those toys. I mean, they have to uh, source them from somewhere. That's you true. know, all, a lot of those are vintage, it has to be. And did they finally do an episode where they had a Funko Pop? Oh. <laughs> I can imagine though. They'll probably kill it. <laughs> the, t- the tick was great. I love the tick. The original tick? Yeah, yeah the men cartoon. Yeah. yeah. Anybody got love for the Men in Black movie or the Men in Black cartoon? I like well, all the movies. Good. I haven't seen cartoons. Yeah, well, yeah. We used to come on. Uh, I think it was like, on WB, wasn't it? The men WB. In- WB. It was good. It was okay. It was wild. We liked it. I'll be right back, guys. It was somewhat okay. like you know, juice, uh cartoon. It wasn't a lot based on the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it kind of did like Jay and the chick that was the more the mortician liver and stuff. <laughs> yeah, Beetlejuice was great too. The cartoon. There's Jonathan Padilla. What's up, man? I didn't like that third in my B that had uh, Thanos in it as young Agent K. Oh, where they traveled in time? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, different. It was like I feel like the world was in jeopardy in that one. Speaking of Will Smith, did you uh, have you seen that movie or the show on Netflix called Bright? Yeah, I like Bright. I, don't I know thought why it was good. crap on it. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I thought it was really good. A lot of people are like, I need to rewatch it. I did a review on it like the night after it came out on YouTube, and it got some pretty good views. That's good. They're saying they're going to make a part two. So, yeah, I I hope they do. I digged it, I was into it. Yeah. You know, they were always speaking talking about having his son do Static Shock. Really? Yeah. Is he gonna wear a skirt? <laughs> What's up, folks? Uh, speech fairies is right there with us. They want more. They want to see the next bright. I yeah. like them. Yeah, bright yeah, was good. That one. Bright was awesome. I thought it was great, bro. I was into it. That really shows that that Netflix originals are pretty awesome <laughs> oh like they've they've evolved so much the netflix original stuff <clears throat> for sure um the guy from sherlock that i was talking about um 
The one who's Watson? Yeah. The one called uh, Cargo. It's a zombie movie. You may think that the zombie genre is played out and there's nothing left to watch, but that movie is dope. It's called Cargo. Yeah. Cargo. It's got Freeman. You need to watch it. There's another one that they did. Uh, they made in Japan. I can't remember the name of it right now. It's a zombie movie. And it's basically... What? It's basically... Uh, <laughs> when they were on a train, it was really good. Um, zombie on a train? Yeah, it was like... Uh, they were. Yeah, they were basically gritty. trapped on this train. I, to get I thought it was gritty. I love the fantasy aspect <clears throat> intertwined with the cop like racial vibe. It was just nuts. Jonathan is in the house. What's up, buddy? Jonathan, is that how you say that? Yeah, it's kind of a play like Jonathan, but Jonathan. <laughs> Speaking of uh, the zombies and all that, have y'all seen those uh, new NECA star uh, cartoon uh, Ghostbuster figures that are becoming. It's the cartoon version, animated version. Off of the cartoon series, NECA's doing yeah. it? Yeah, that style. Hmm. The blonde Egon and... Dishwasher and... Egon was pretty pretty awesome. my favorite. Yeah. Are they going to be six inches? Whoa, uh, yeah. But yeah, it's going to be the six inch. Nice. They look good. Yeah, I'll get they're going to be too expensive, but they're nice. 30, 9 o'clock, 8.30. Someone got in trouble. Hookers. Judson said, don't bother watching zombie hookers. It sucks. <laughs> oh, Rodan Warriors? Uh, Rodan Warriors. Warriors. Zombie hookers come to Chicago. What made Judson watch it? <laughs> the word zombie? There's some <laughs> the word zombie. <laughs> it was a very attractive word. <laughs> Clickbait. Good night. Uh, Hector. Yes. Do you know where they film Shameless at? Where you live? Yeah, it's um Southside. It's um it's off of um I think it's thirty fifth or I think I've been told that they do very little filming in Chicago. Yeah, they do um they just outside the shots. But then the most of the stuff indoors is actually in LA. Yeah. But I love that show. That's like uh, the new uh, uh, shoot uh, Halloween. They did that in Charleston. Oh, did you see what Brad just said there, Kev? He's going to get them? He said Diamond Select's making them, not NECA. Oh, Diamond Select? Oh, then they'll be closer to 7-inch size then? Yeah, I didn't think Nick had the Ghostbusters license. Sign Diamond Select. It's just another thing on the list that I got wrong. It's no big deal. I'm right, uh, Funko hasn't it. picked up any of those. Take it easy. <laughs> Take it easy. Take it easy, man. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> Funko knows how to draw yeah, people yeah. in, man. I like to walk away. Yeah. <laughs> Diamond select, just Funko. make the select part plural. Plural. Yeah, diamond select is pretty good. <laughs> With an X, selects. Uh, diamond selects. <laughs> Take it easy. Yeah, Funko, man, they, they know how to draw you in. You can't get rid of Funko or get away from them. I've tried to walk yes. away from them. Kevin had an extremely awesome hunt he uploaded today. Jetta Patrol, what's up, brother? How you doing, sir? Hey, Jetta Patrol in the house. He knows How who the doing, man. Good to see you. That's crazy. The Funko up, buddy? Pop Flippers turned me off on Funkos. What's up, Jedi? Jedi? Yeah, it's it's definitely hard to collect those like in the Jedi. wild. You know the ones I saw that I man, I was so close to buying was uh, Wayne's World because I, I liked Wayne's World on SNL and <laughs> and the uh, the pops look really cool. The uh. I want to get from uh, NECA, I want to get those uh, Bill and Ted. They look really cool. Uh, Cabo, pick them up. The NECA Bill and Ted set looks really good. I am I got the Kenner, and I need to get a couple more. 
Yeah, those are eight inch though, the Bill and Ted ones, right? They're they're much bigger than the regular. Yeah, the the NECA set is more like six inch. It's the bigger. Yeah, I wish somebody would uh, make a third one. Somebody would do a new series of gargoyles. Gargoyles was amazing. Have y'all, have y'all seen those new uh, Fortnite action figures? They look kind of yeah. cool, man. They're, I think McFarl- I would like they're McFarlands. That's why they're cool looking. Jeez, I didn't think I was gonna like them. It looks like. Yeah, but the sculpt of them and stuff—they're pretty cool looking figures. Yeah, Doodog got the teddy bear chick. Yeah, the leader, something leader. Yeah, Fortnite blew up. I mean, you—it's it, like almost mm-hmm. overnight type of thing. If you haven't played yeah. the game, it's pretty fun. I mean, Epic did their homework on that when they made Fortnite. They knew what they were gonna do. <laughs> Quantifin's right. Well, McFarlane is smart. You know, he does stuff that he knows is very popular. Yeah, they're, they're smart. They're, they cover everything. <laughs> that's well. Yeah. I mean, he does a lot of uh, baseball, football, and hockey stuff. You know. Well, that's yeah. That's why when when he fell off the action figure stuff for a while, it was he was yeah doing the starting line and all that. He had that contract. <clears throat> he was killing it. One of his uh, figures. It's a Babe Ruth. Mm-hmm. Action figure, the Babe Ruth, but it is a rare one. They re- accidentally released some with a blue hat instead of, I guess, the black he was supposed to be wearing. That sucker, if you can find one of the few copies, it's like worth tons. Good night, Ruben. If we've already missed you, El Chambo. Good night, man. Make a Wayne's World 3 movie. They're supposed to be making a Bill and Ted 3. Uh, yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Very excited about that. You know, Bill's probably like really dying for them to do it more than Kiana. Is. Oh yeah, Esquire, <laughs> the guy who's Bill. <laughs> he didn't do shit, nothing he, afterwards. He's like, yeah, I could use the work, guys. <laughs> That's true. Well, the, the only problem with that is going to be that the uh, oh, what was the guy the, that was the, the one that the would come with- actor. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't remember his name right now off the top of my Carlin. head. What's that? Was it George Carlin? Yeah, Carlin died, so I don't they know. They would have to that. that somebody else. Yeah. yeah. He'll have someone take over his position. That's that's kind of sad because he was a great actor. They would get somebody lame like Kelsey Grammer. Yeah, something like that. Someone dry and boring. Kelsey Grammer would be like, well, here we are. I'm Beast. He doesn't even have to change his character. <laughs> The same accent that he does for his uh, I'm based from the X Men Fox psychiatrist. <laughs> when they made Frazier Beast, dude, that was such an atrocity. Rip Rufus, yeah. Take he it was easy, one of those Perry. Canadian. Later, bud. The storyline? I have no idea what the storyline is. I know. The the original two movies were terrible stories. I can imagine what they'll do with the third one. Well, I, I think it's going to be uh, how they become like the leaders of the world, I would think. They probably have kids of their own now. Yeah. And they're, they're going to start doing a little time like travel. They're full on dad mode, and they don't rock no more. And then their kids get kidnapped, and the only way to win them is to win a, a, a metal... B- Battle or something, and then travel like, back in time. They get kidnapped, and they be like, "I know where, I know where you are. <laughs> I'll come find you." <clears throat> like taken. That thing like hasn't taken. gotten much just like taken. <laughs> I do not have a particular set of skills. <laughs> <laughs> I can time travel. Liam Neeson could be the new Rufus. Yeah. He could. <laughs> He's played everything else. He's Why not? <laughs> Did we lose Hector? Where's Hector? No, he's, he's gone. He went to sleep. His camera's still <laughs> there. He's got sleep at me. He's up. He's making a sandwich real quick. Making a big <laughs> ass sandwich. I'm back. <laughs> What's up, guys? Bring the to the universe. <clears throat> That sounds lame as F. Lame AF. 
writing the you see what uh, Brad said? He knows yeah. most of the premise of the Bill and Ted three. Well, yeah, it doesn't sound too funny to me. I don't know, man. That was some of the worst acting. Ke- I mean, now Keanu's not one of the biggest character no. there is, but that was pretty terrible. <laughs> really, no. no emotion. Yeah, one thing. They're like, I am the one. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hello, Morpheus? <laughs> and that's what he did in Ronan, every one of his movies. That's it forever. <laughs> and we still loved him. The Matrix. Yeah, and I love the Matrix. Was pure trash. I know. Right? It's just hard to believe this white dude that he was well, Tom raised Cruise Samurai. Did, like, yeah. Tom Cruise tried to be the last samurai too with his wife. Remember that? <laughs> but at least he started out as like, you know, a westerner and they he got kid, you know, they took him hostage. At least he worked his way well, in that's it. One guy, that's one guy that I can't tolerate is Tom Cruise. He's a it. he's a bit crazy, isn't he? <laughs> well, they made him. What well, they made him into like a uh, Jesus at the end of uh, Matrix Three or whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, Kiana. Yeah. They want Kiana to play Revan. <laughs> Darth Revan. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know. <laughs> well, Ramona. Yeah, the second one got worse when they met Death and they had the weird robot Bill and Ted. Evil robot Bill and Ted. <laughs> well, I mean, that was, you know, it was crazy, but it was good, I thought, you know. Yeah. Uh, Death was really, really funny. I, I like that. You knew what it was going to be when it came out, so you yeah. either like it or you don't. <laughs> now, I'll tell you one thing Tom Cruise did that I do like is uh, his role in trying it's a guilty pleasure movie. Which one is it? Tropic Thunder. Oh yeah, Tropic Thunder. Yeah. It's like the movie Tropical studio Thunder. director guy. Yeah. And they was- made all, and he kept doing, he kept dancing and stuff. I thought <laughs> it was insane in that movie. They they made a, there's a movie called Superhero Movie where they made fun of uh, him, where he goes, uh, he goes, uh, he's, he starts about- breaking oh. Oprah's fingers. <laughs> that scary movie. It's a superhero movie. He goes, uh, that superhero can't fly. I can fly. Next thing you see is this, uh, uh, News 6. Uh, Distress in. Tom Cruise dead because he jumped off a building <laughs> trying to fly. <laughs> he really did. I can't believe he's still in the MI movies. Like what, I know. They're kind of taking that a bit far. What kind of freaking ego does he have that he's not released that? The original plan was Jeremy Rayner comes in on that one when they were in Dubai. And yeah. he was supposed to be the new male lead. And he was passing yeah. the torch. But Jeremy Rayner's as old as Tom Cruise, though. Tom was like, you know, I can still do it. We don't need this guy. Isn't Rayner pushing 50, though? He probably is getting close. Rayner not already. Speaking of him, there's a movie on Netflix called Wind River with with uh, him, awesome movie. Wind River. If you like crime movies, and it's 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 in Wyoming, it takes place on a, a Native American reservation, and Jeremy Rayner is like the animal control guy, <laughs> and they're trying to solve a murder. It's friggin' amazing. Sounds good. Wind River, dope. Five star movie on Netflix right now. <clears throat> Man, Y'all ready for uh, Aquaman? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. All y'all yeah, get a digital copy for. I don't know. Aquaman looks really good. And also, uh, Shazam looks pretty good too. Uh, let funny. me get on I'll give you credit. That one has humor. Shazam looks good. Aquaman, uh, it's not my style. Have they you seen the, have... the trailer? Where they actually show like about the five minutes of the film or so. Well, yeah, way too much of a movie. Trailers. They don't have Campbell anymore. What's the point? 
why should this new Momoa Aquaman prevail and then Henry Campbell's not there anymore? That's well, odd, it, right? But it's because everybody just put down the Superman and Batman movie and all the rest of the movies, they you know? Did it backwards. They should have did Aquaman solo movie last year and Justice League this year. That was the biggest mistake is not do the solos they're, first. They're so st- Whoever's in charge of DC needs to be like beaten with her hose. I think it was like some kind of emergency mode where they were like, no, they're getting their butts whooped. <laughs> they started trying to rush everything out. All right, take it easy, Mr. Uh, Vengeance. Man, I guess whatever your games and toys. Have a good DC's- night. Mr. V. Even their animated movies have slipped. Their animated feature lanes are not what they used to be. Yeah, and it seems like they started gone down. The voice acting has gone down. They barely use Kevin Conroy, which is a a mistake. Well, uh, have you seen? Did you see Batman Ninja? Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. You did. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, And uh, then they also have. uh, Gotham Gaslight was the last good one. Uh, I mean, how about the bat, the new uh, Superman, uh, Death of Superman? I thought that was okay. Oh, yeah. I've not but watched Death- it yet. I've not watched it. I like the Death of Superman. That was pretty cool. And then um, my favorite <clears throat> of all of them is, uh, so far has been Flashpoint. That's a good one. Yeah, the Flashpoints and the Frontier. I like all those older ones. I like Superman and Wonder Woman. Uh, they, there's one that they just came out with about Suicide Squad that ties yeah, in the Flashpoint. The new Suicide Squad. I've not Squad. seen that animated Suicide Squad. Was it okay? I, I didn't like it. <laughs> you did? Uh, did you catch? Did you catch the ending of it? Was I was trying to spoil anything. I didn't. I don't think I did. I don't think I finished it. Oh, yeah, you should. You, sh- you should go back and rewatch does it. it got, at the very does end, does it have King Shark or does it have Killer Croc? I don't know. Should I say? Yeah, I would. I would suggest you watch it because it it, it actually ties into uh, in some Welcome way. To the tag team back again. No particular reason to go live. We just felt like a live stream. Yeah, we were talking about probably Friday, and then Friday. Yeah, why don't you uh, plug that? What's going to happen on Friday? Basically, we'll do pretty much again, right? Same thing. I'll, I'll have some action figures to open up. We can get back on, and, and we can talk about movies and comics. And yeah, I still haven't read. I got a a pile of comics. I got the new. I'm I'm reading the Return of Wolverine, but it's kind of dragging. But I do like uh, the Batman Max series so far. The crossover. I was about to ask you about that. I really like that series too. Yeah, nah, man, Max. Yeah, you was talking about that. It's known as uh, it's dope AF. It's known in the comic circles. AF C. And then that's in capital. Another <laughs> question: um, Have you did you get the new X Men uh, book? I did. I haven't yet. Man, you know what's hard for me is now that I go when I go to the comic book shops nowadays, these things are almost like five bucks a pop. I can't get five dollars for a book. It's it's hard. Back in the eighties, <laughs> it was a buck. Well, what I what I do is I have a subscription for that new comic book shop that I took your tour on. I just I just yeah. I can tell them which ones I want and they pull them for me. You get discounts or? Yeah, it's like a ten uh, percent oh, discount. They give you a bag and board. They're they're getting pricey. But uh. I'm, so I'm being real picky about it because I saw another one. It was a first issue of the Spider Verse. It just released this past week. And, Justin uh, it, says he wants to see a collection video from Kev. <laughs> I don't know how they could do a, a Thundercats real live. Someone wants to see a collection video. Yeah, Come man. On. When you get your house, I guess in the spring. Take care, one of them. Pew 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 pew. Yeah. We're we're trying to, we're working on getting a new home probably the first half of next year like January February March and uh, of course one of the it's got to have the extra room I need so 
once I can put a collection together, I'm excited to because I've got so much crap. It's ridiculous. You know? Thousands. But we can all go home, right, Kev? That's right. But I'm not going home. But I'm not going I'm home. Get in my boat <laughs> and go kick Bison's ass. So hard that the next Bison <laughs> want to be. <laughs> bison was a pimp. Raw Julia. Hey, was the other guy, Vega? You remember Raw Julia, the actor? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, Adam's yeah, family. Adam's family. Oh, he yeah. was by. He yeah. died shortly after doing that movie. Yeah, he he didn't he didn't really like doing it. What Bison? Yeah, Bison. He said that uh, they said that he there was a, there was a lot of problems with that production of that movie. Oh, there was like Van Damme that, was in coke yeah. like half the time he was there. Yeah, well, that and also you know, <laughs> the way that made him fly around, you know, oh, yeah, around yeah, with. Yeah. Yeah, they said that yeah, it was he very was so corny when he was doing the psycho crusher. He looked like he was in yeah. the friggin' <laughs> German ballerina or something. Damn it! <laughs> that was so corny. Yeah. Hey fellas, this is fun, but I gotta hit. Expecting to fight a man, instead you fight a god. Donnie's Donnie's trying to run away. Stop him! Trip him! <laughs> I gotta go adult. That's like uh, they said about Stan Lee, that we all like to, you know, say the adulting thing. You gotta adult stupid. it yeah. at late night. <laughs> well, that's not taking out the trash. <laughs> this is... I don't think he's doing the dishes at this time. <laughs> go to go to bed. Go to work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. I'm probably got to do yeah. the same thing too. Yeah, this we can go ahead and kill it now. All right, guys. Well, was, I'm glad that you uh, came up with this idea for us to all jump on. It's good. Yeah, I think I'm we need to get doing it more. Yeah, well, like, uh, if y'all want to can't hit up a Kev, Kevin uh, Tattoo to join the Tag Team Collector uh, <laughs> chat, you know, we need more We need more people. So hit him up and he, him and Sam. If you're, add content creator, yeah. if you're a content creator and you feel like you're not getting views and you want – other creators to collaborate with and change ideas around with. We'd be, we'd love to have you. Yeah, yeah um, these people, uh, both Tattoo and Sandman and Blooker and all all of the tag team uh, collectible group is great guys. So you'll really yeah. become friends and you will also get some good advice. Trust me, I know. Walker says he wants in on tag team. What's his name? Night Walker. Oh, not Curtis. Yeah, Curtis is a cool guy. Isn't he out in New York? I think he's a he's got he's a good collector. Add him. Yeah, for sure. He's very active. Well, thanks yeah, yeah. to everybody that watched, and thanks to Kev, and thanks to my tag team brothers. Y'all yeah. have a good night. We'll see night, everybody. Hey, hey guys, guys, never give never give up that hunt, guys. I just posted my video. Check it out. All right, we'll check it out. We'll check Legend. it out. Night, guys. Elite. Night, night. See y'all later. This is fun. <laughs>